this is Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and today in the PCT Test Lab, we are testing a brand new product to the market called Duplicolor, and it is a pigment duplication medium for polymer clay. And I am really excited about it because I think it's going to revolutionize the way we do color mixing with polymer clay. Now, oh yeah, before, it, um, before we get going here, just make sure to stay to the end because I actually have a special gift for you, okay? Now, what I think is so exciting about this product is that it is so simple to use. Now, it is a um, medium that you can add to a light color of polymer clay. Now, it doesn't matter the brand, any brand will work, but you need to use a color that has no color in it. So this is uh, Primo White Translucent, that's what I'm gonna be using today, but you could also use white or pearl or something like that. Then, um, you need the medium and then you need a highly pigmented um, printed material. Now it could be a photograph, it could be a magazine clipping, it could be um, a flyer or a newspaper, something like that, something that has a lot of pigment in it. And then what this product does is it will re, um, duplicate the color and saturate your clay with it and makes it really easy for color mixing. Now let me just show you an example of one of the um, tests I did. Now this is a, an ad or something like that and I really was drawn to the color that's in this section here. And I used the Duplicolor uh, medium on a translucent piece of clay and just look at the stunning color that it drew from that um, printing. Isn't that beautiful? Now I think this is going to be really great for those of you that struggle a little bit with color mixing because it's just basically a total no-brainer. Now to do this what we're going to need to do is um, condition our clay. So I'm just going to condition this uh, a little bit. I've already preconditioned it, so I'm just going to use my never need here to flatten it out a bit before I run it through the pasta machine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to roll it at the thickest setting to start, and then we're going to roll it a little thinner. Um, this there's only so much um, color that can be drawn out of the photograph, so you can't use that much clay. So I'm going to roll it down to about a um, three setting, which is about four playing cards thick on this pass machine. Then um, I've already pre-chosen some, a couple of um, different cuttings from this magazine here. And I've got this one here. I really love the green on here and this one here with the blue and purple, the purpley blue color. Now, what you need to do is, okay, I'm gonna just tear this apart here first to start, because I'm gonna need a couple sections. Now I need to, I just wanna transfer the color that's in this area here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball it and figure out um, the area that I want to cover. So kind of like that. And then I'm gonna rip the top part off and get that one ready to go, make that a little straighter. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to, so I've got the piece here, I'm gonna flip it over like this. Oops, I got my tail there. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna add the duplicolor to the surface. Now, you just wanna add a few drops to the top here and then spread it out um, in a thin even layer and you want to make sure that every area of the clay has been covered and What you're going to do is let that sit for about 30 seconds or so What you want it to do is you want it to just start to dry a little but the surface is going to remain tacky and This is just about ready to go. I can feel it. It's a little bit sticky there and I'm just going to lay this on top of my other piece right like this and then we're going to um, set this one aside now it needs a little bit of time to get saturated and soak up those pigments now on this one here we're going to focus um, on the area there where the green um, ocean or I guess that's an ocean green area of the ocean is and we're going to cut a piece that will fit that one perfectly 
So let's see here. I'm just going to tear it along the one side. And let's see, this might tear a little easier if I kind of follow it along. All right, so tear it along this end and along here. I don't want to go across the whole photograph because the um, I don't want to catch all the other colors. I'm going to be blending these together later and I don't want to get a really muddy color. So I'm just going to straighten this out a bit because it's a little crooked. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip that one over and do the same thing with the duplicolor. So we're going to put a few drops of this on the surface and smear that around and let that one sit for a minute or so. And I think this is going to be a great product for anyone, like I said, that has trouble because what you can do is just be inspired by any photograph that you see and get that exact color. So I'm just going to lay that on top there. And then I'm going to put that aside as well. Now we can bring out the other one. And you can see this works really quickly. You can see that the color is already starting to be um, saturated. And I'm just going to lay this out and you can take a look at it. And it's amazing the different pigments it starts pulling out from the surfaces and um, how quickly and rich that color gets. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just ball this up and start mixing those colors together. And it's uh, so exciting. I just really find it fun. It's like a, an experiment every time I try this, every time we test it out. And I'll have to run it through the pasta machine a couple of times to get those colors all nicely mixed. And you can see it's just, the, some translucent was still on the top layer there. It's only going to draw in so much color, like I said. But that's why with the translucent, you're going to get um, a rich color all the way through and it won't uh, make it pastel or anything like that. So there we go and you can see this color is just so beautiful and it matches this beautifully. Now let's see how the other one is doing and look at that. We'll pe peel it up and it is oh a golden green color that is so bright and exciting. All right I'm just I just love this product. Oh um so I did promise you that I would have a little gift for you. So let me just grab that for you. And uh, here it is. <laughs> April Fools. Oh, I do hope I got you. It's so much fun to play around with these kind of ideas. No, there is no duplicolor. Unfortunately, I would love it if there was. This is just rubbing alcohol in this bottle. And I was just pulling your leg. So I hope you enjoyed that this year. And uh, if I got you, make sure to leave that in the comment section below. And if I didn't, you are extra clever. We'll see you next time and bye for now.